Hello Internet! I'm Hazel and this is how I beat the legendary pet Defile the Earth in Tanan Jungle. You can fight this guy once per day for a bag of fell touched pet supplies, which can include one of four new pets and other assorted goodies. You can find Defile the Earth here in Tanan Jungle. Currently, there's no quest involved, so just find him, beat him, and you'll get your stuff. In the first slot, I've got my Pandaren Water Spirit with moves set to Water Jet, Whirlpool, and Geyser. In the second slot, I have Crominius with Bite, Howl, and Surge of Power. Your third pet will depend on what Defiled Earth has for Wild Pet Backup. It will randomize from day to day, but it won't change within a given day. Check who he has with him, and then pick your strongest counter, preferably with an avoid mechanic such as Decoy, Bubble, Dodge, Ethereal, or Deflection. I grabbed a Dark Moon Zeppelin to counter his beast type maggot backup, but I didn't even wind up needing him. Alright, so make sure you have your pets in order and make sure we have the right moves. I like to bring along Decoy and you'll find out why in a minute. And let's go ahead and start this up. So against Defiled Earth, we're going to start this just like we would start a normal Howl Bomb. So our first move is going to be Geyser. And he's going to apply this Fell Corruption. Now this move is shared by all of the wild pets, followed up with a Whirlpool there of course. All of the Tanan legendary pets rather have Fell Corruption and it's kind of a problem. Um, it's a very big buff and it buffs his backline pets too. So after the Whirlpool you switch to Kerminius and we're going to go ahead and cast Howl. And that should go up just in time for Defiled Earth to eat a Howl debuffed, a uh, Whirlpool, a Geyser. Now because he's an elite pet he takes reduced damage but we're still going to get him low enough with that and instead of hitting with Surge of Power, Bite should be enough to finish him off with that Howl debuff. So Defiled Earth is dead but beware because there's still 6 rounds left of this gosh darn Fell Corruption. So I decide as long as I have my Dragon King racial ability up here I'm going to go ahead and Surge of Power. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough to kill the Violet Firefly because he's taking 50% reduced damage from that stinky fell corruption. It's gross. And uh, now we're done and we get to uh, how I'm going to howl again just to apply that debuff. And then after I howl, there we go. After I howl, a bite should be enough to finish off the Violet Firefly. So these backline pets, these are just wild pets from the zone and they're going to be different from day to day. So it's always a good idea to check to see who he has behind him and make sure that you pick your third pet. Um, accordingly so that you have something that counters these um, and can also have an avoidance move to kind of wait out the fell corruption debuff because they're going to be doing big damage to you as long as they have that buff. But of course once it falls off like it's fallen off now uh, there's nothing else to worry about. So I decided to use the rest of my water spirit after Chromidius died. I'm going to apply a geyser, I'm going to apply a whirlpool, I'm just going to get as much mileage out of this thing as I can before it goes. I really brought along the zeppelin to deal with the maggot but I may not even need it here so we're going to go ahead and spam water jet. And a little bit more and he's about to get hit with that stuff. And this is just a regular maggot, so he of course is toast. There we go. And that's how I do it. Check out my channel and subscribe for guides to the other Tanan legendary pets and more. Let me know what you think and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!